Hey guys, this is Anything Reviews, and um, I went to go look up Need for Speed 2015 um, gameplay, and um, there's this one video, uh, like I said, it's called that, and uh, now if you didn't know that um, they actually let people play the new Need for Speed um, <clears throat> at E3, but uh, there's hardly any footage on YouTube, but I did find this one, and uh, I was worried that there wasn't going to be any damage to, like, the cars if you hit a wall, and, um, actually, there actually is damage, because if you look on the Mustang's, uh, hood, it's actually bent, uh, from an earlier collision, and, uh, I'll just play this while I do that, but, um, also, there's not going to be any, um, like, I should say manual in the game, so there's no manual transmissions, which, uh, kind of stinks, but, I mean... It's not like I actually use it, like I actually use manual, so it doesn't bother me that much. But, um, uh, apparently if you put different exhaust on different cars, I mean like uh, if you just switch the exhaust on a car, it changes the sound of the car. And also apparently there's, a uh, you can put subwoofers in your own car, and uh, like amps and speakers, etc. They were saying that it'll actually make the music louder in the game, or maybe like uh, it affects the bass of like the song. Um, you're you are allowed to take off the rear bumpers because if you look in the uh, Speed Hunters article, there's a 380SX without a rear bumper, and they have uh, those weird spoilers that um, attach on the rear. So anyway, this was a short update video on the on Need for Speed, and uh, see you guys later.